Hi everyone, my name is David Fetro with Lucid Dreaming Academy. And today I'm gonna to answer the question, what is lucid dreaming? So I'm gonna break that down for you in just a bit. So first let's give you the definition of lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is a dream in which the dreamer becomes aware that he or she is dreaming. So let's give you the definition of becoming aware. The definition of becoming aware means that you have specific knowledge of something. Typically when one dreams, it's like we're watching a movie. We're almost the third person in that movie. When you go lucid, your dream becomes extremely real. You are no longer sitting in the balcony watching the movie. You're actually the actor in that movie. It becomes so real that you don't know whether you are awake or sleeping. When you are training yourself to go lucid dreaming, you do what's called reality checks. These are checks to see whether you are awake or dreaming. For example, my favorite check is called the ground jump, and that's exactly what it sounds like. You basically look down at your feet and you jump off the ground. Typically, if you're sleeping, you kind of float back down to the ground. Now, before you do the ground jump, you want to notice to see if your feet are actually on the ground. If they're not on the ground, then you know that you are sleeping. So what about the history of lucid dreaming? Most people think it's one of those spiritual things. What they don't know is lucid dreaming reaches back thousands of years. Although the scientific community did not recognize lucid dreaming until 1978, the first known textual description of lucid dreaming is about 1000 BC. This comes from the Vedas called the Upanishads. These are ancient Sanskrit, comes from part Buddhism and part Hinduism. So what would you use this lucid dreaming for? Here are some of the top reasons that I suggest that you would use this for. Believe it or not, you can practice real life skills in a lucid dream and increase your proficiency in that skill. This is pretty amazing that you can actually get better at doing something in real life while you're dreaming. Imagine being able to improve on one of your sports that you play, like hitting baseballs with Clayton Kershaw or throwing footballs with Julio Jones. Or how about practicing your dance or gymnastic moves? Maybe you were learning a language or a musical instrument. The possibilities are endless. What you're trying to do is train your mind to become more proficient in what you want to do. Believe it or not, there was actually a Harvard study to prove this. Another reason is to improve psychological growth. I'm sure you've woken up abruptly from a nightmarish dream or woke up the next morning scratching your head trying to think, what in the world was that dream about? With lucid dreaming, you don't have to run. You can turn around and ask whatever is chasing you, what are you here for and what's the meaning? You can manifest Dr. Freud and ask him what the exact meaning of your dream was. When you are in a dream, you are in direct contact with your subconscious mind. Memories that have been locked in there for years can be brought out and totally understood. Here's another reason to lucid dream. You can do anything you want. We all have fantasies and desires that we would love to accomplish in waking hours. Unfortunately, these may not be that possible. In lucid dreaming, the sky is the limit. Flying is a personal favorite of mine. You can fly as high and as low as you want. It doesn't matter in a lucid dream. You actually feel the air rushing over your face when you are flying. It's quite amazing. Maybe you feel like visiting an exotic beach and feel your feet dig in the sand, hear the seagulls, smell the fresh air. Another amazing thing that you can do is fulfill sexual desires. For many, lucid dreaming sex is the main desire to accomplish lucid dreaming. Sex in a lucid dream is just as realistic, if not more realistic, than in waking life. You have the ability to create any partner in any situation that you would like. Here's a few other reasons. Discover a personal meeting to life. Meet and interact with personal heroes. 
overcome fears and phobias, process grief by reuniting with lost loved ones. So you ask, how do I get started with this? There are multiple techniques that you can learn how to do this. There are specific daily and hourly things that you need to do to get better at this technique. I created a webinar to teach you how to lucid dream. In this webinar, I teach you the multiple techniques. I also talk about sleep and how to understand it, which is very important to lucid dreaming. I also talk about nutrition and how to set up your mind to have the perfect environment to jump into a lucid dream. So if you'd like to learn a little more about this, I have a link below that will give you more information how to learn how to do this. Once again, my name is David Fetro and I am with Lucid Dreaming Academy and I want to thank you for um, coming along with me and listening to this video and I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you.